Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video sponsored by FanDuel. Today we have the new release preview video for Topps 10s. These were supposed to come out around February 7th, 8th, 9th, somewhere in there, whenever Topps dropped. But for whatever reason, there's a huge backlog and they're just being sent out today. I purchased four tins on my Topps account. That was the max you could buy. Heather bought four on hers and now we have them here for you today. We'll also have many tins coming your way they're all en route to me i picked up a whole bunch of these for a live stream uh event at some time hopefully next week so we're going to check these out top sold these on their website for i believe it was 25.99 a piece so after tax and whatever shipping they charge you're probably paying around 30 the low 30s for these uh, that's kind of a big up over last year a big price increase as you know pretty much everything's way up over last year opening day is about double what it was last year inception's about double what it was last year now the tins are about double what they were last year as well last year you could find these for 15 dollars and like i think it's 15.98 at walmart and uh, now they're up 10 bucks to uh, 25 dollars and they're selling on ebay i looked at recently sold for anywhere between 32 dollars a piece all the way up to $48 a piece. What happens is somebody will have a certain player that you really want, like Bryce Harper, and they'll pay a premium for that specific player. So, I don't know, it's a, it's a hot product right now. We'll see if it lasts. But let's go ahead and get ripping right now. Uh, our first contestant is going to be Terry. So, good luck to you, Terry. I hope you like Bryce Harper. Uh, let's show you the packaging first and foremost. We'll give you a quick little tour around this. This is the second year Tops has done these. You can see you get 75 cards per tin, so that's slightly more than the hanger boxes. Here, uh, the hanger boxes you would get, I believe it's 67 cards per tin. Also a little bit less than a blaster box, which gives you 99 cards per tin. But you do get one exclusive chrome, 70 years of Topps baseball insert. So that's pretty cool. Um, it is one of those uh, kind of like reproduction. You know how they did like one design for each year and put a major star on it? It's chrome. I believe the tin is the only way you can complete that set or get those cards. You also get five of the 52 Tops Redo 2021 inserts and one chrome 52 Tops Redo card as well. Um, so this is what your tin looks like. I'll take the, uh, the cellophane off. We'll take a quick look at the odds. Got to cut these tins on the side, at least the cellophane, so you don't scratch the facade of the tin, which is just gorgeous. I, I feel like this is perfect. I mean, if you're a Bryce Harper collector, this you need this in your collection, quite honestly. You can put all your Harper cards in there. Here are all of the odds. Kind of tough to read since it's on a tin, but I'll try to uh, you know make it visible enough so you can pause it and read through it. Also, no purchase necessary stuff is in there somewhere. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna move the rest of the tins off to the side right now, just so I have a little bit more room. And away we go. Terry, you're up first. Here's what is inside. Basically, it's the exact same as last year. You have a little holder there and a big stack of 52 cards. Or not 52 cards, Tops cards with the 52 inserts inside. I'm hoping we can hit an autograph or relic, but I'm not going to hold my breath on that because it's it's pretty tough to do so. So best of luck to you, Terry. Let's see what we can find for you. We have our base cards, which we won't spend too much time on the base cards. We've been going through these base cards quite a lot over the past couple months, almost two months now, Brady Singer. We will take out the top rookie cards to sleeve up. There's Mike Trout, Shane Bieber. This is a busy day, by the way. We might we may have three uploads for you today. I already filmed Face Off Friday. Then these showed up, and so this is an extra one. There's Nick Madrigal, a rookie card, and here we go. There's a Kevin Kiermeyer rainbow foil. We've got a McGuire, 86. There is your Chrome 70 Years of Tops card. Beautiful refractor right there. This is... One of the main reasons why people are going to love grabbing these tins because you can only get these cards in those tins. Luis Robert, 52. Lindor, 52. There's Evan White. Vladdy, Alex Bregman. There's the Nate Pearson, 52. You get one of those in each and every box. Christian Yelich, and that will do it for tin number one in terms of the insert cards. All the insert cards are going to be right smack dab in the middle of each and every tin. We'll keep an eye out for any of the top rookie cards like Mount Castle or Bobby Dalbeck, who's been on fire this spring, leading the big leagues in home runs with seven. And any of the other guys in the top five rookies or so. So, Terry, thank you very much. Hope you guys will check out FanDuel, by the way. Use the link in the description. Get yourself in on some fantasy baseball, some one-day fantasy baseball. 
All right, next box coming up. The next tin coming up, I should say, is for Scott. Scott, I hope you like Mike Trout, because that's the second tin, just grabbing these at random. When I do a large-scale break of these for you guys on Patreon, I think that um, it's, it's a lot of work to do so, but I'll try to let you pick which player that you want. So if you like Mike Trout, he always goes the fastest, so um, you'll be able to choose. I might have you give me like your top three, just in case Trout's gone. So Scott, you're getting the Trout. Let's see what we can find for you. Mike Trout was on a tin last year as well. Here we go. For whatever reason, they didn't do tins for Series 2 last year. I was kind of confused by that. It was a Series 1 only thing. I thought the tins were very successful last year. Here we go, Scott. Best of luck to you. Let's see what we can find in your tin. There's Juan Soto. Uh, Ian Anderson, rookie card. He's a pretty decent one. Ruggie Odor. I do see your Chrome card coming up. You can see that shiny refracting light in the background. None of the big rookies yet so far kind of surprising we've got an icy parallel for you it is going to be a sunny gray nice one right there it will be numbered out of 199 a nice sunny gray right there Starling Marte and that is a good one right there 1979 style Fernando Tatis chrome through the years 70 years of tops beautiful looking card right there in case you're wondering the for the back of the card they're not numbered but still really, really nice. You also have your 52 Chrome card coming up. It is a Max Scherzer. And you get a, you get a Pete Alonso. Don't get too excited. That's not a real autograph. That's just a through the years insert card. There's been uh, people getting faked out thinking those are real autographs, even buying them on eBay for a premium. Joey Barton, Dylan Carlson, two of the nice rookies in this set. We'll put those aside. They're always back to back. We'll see how many of those we can find tonight in our live stream of opening day 2021 tops opening day we have 80 boxes of it we're not going to be able to get through all 80 boxes because that would be like a 12-hour live stream but we'll get as many as we can get done by midnight i think i'm going to put a uh, a curfew of midnight eastern on the break so i'm not up all night I've got a busy busy day tomorrow with uh you know doing some kids sports kids sporting events and such so, Scott, thank you very much. Next, 10 on the ledger is for Richard. I hope you like Ronald Acuna Jr. We'll see what we can find for you. Out of all the players on the 10s, probably, um, I don't know if we have all of the players that are featured on the 10s or not. Javi Baez, for me, was probably the worst one. He had a bad season last year, but we'll see if he bounces back. All right, so Richard, here is 10 number three for you. Let's see what we can find in this one. Hopefully we can get you something good in here. The uh, cellophane packaging here, just like the hanger boxes, which uh, I'm a big fan of hanger boxes. You get more cards for your dollar in that packaging option. Probably the most sensible one, the way to go is a hanger box. Especially if you're a set builder or looking after maybe getting some of the good rookie cards. Let's see what we've got coming up in here. There is a home run challenge card. It's a Freddie Freeman. We've got a Glaber Torres, nice 1967 style design card right there. And another Glaber right after him. And there we go. Alec Baum, 52 style rookie card for you. We'll sleeve that one along with the Glaber. Dylan Carlson's getting sleeved. And a Javi Baez, 52. There's Nolan Ryan through the years 2017. Nice looking card right there. Joe Adele, rookie card. Got to sleeve him up. He's got a lot of upside. He's another one of those guys that had a bad 2020, but it was, you know, a small sample size. A lot of players seem to have a bad 2020. We'll see if he can bounce back. Some of those guys that had bad seasons, like Casey Mize, going to get a second chance. Mize made the rotation, just announced yesterday. So if you have Casey Mize rookie cards, be on the lookout for him. Had a terrible spring training in terms of... Uh, earned run average i think he gave up 13 runs and in 14 innings pitched which is pretty abysmal it's almost a nine earned run average giving up one run per inning uh, but his strikeout numbers were off the charts he had um, 21 strikeouts in 14 innings all right jeffrey's up right now at spot number four best of luck to you jeffrey we'll see what we can find for you in your tin you've got aaron judge let's see if we can hit a nice one in here all right so let's see what we've got honestly not much difference from a hanger box you get a little more value in these because those chromes 
through the years, um, 70 years of Topps cards worth, you know, probably a few bucks. There's Christian Pache, depending on who it is. So you're not getting a whole bunch more value, but you are paying for the tin, I think, this year. Jerkson Profar. I think when Topps saw how, you know, excited fans were about this product and how in demand it was, they, they said, you know what? You know, we might as well make them pay for the tin this year. There's a Randy Johnson, beautiful looking 2018 Topps design card right there. Gorgeous card. It's the chrome. One per box of Joe Adele 52. And we've got a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. as well. Let's see what else we've got in here. Um, I'm going to be really worn out of looking at this design at the end of the night with all the opening day that we're going to be opening up. But at least with opening day, there's some photo variations and pictures of players or player cards that we're not going to see until Series 2. So those ones will be kind of new to me. So, Jeffrey, thank you very much. Your tin from Aaron Judge is in the books. We're halfway through the video. Hope everybody's having a great Friday so far. Next up... Spot number five. This is a Javi Baez. It is for Cody. We'll see what we can find for you, Cody. Spot number five. Javi Baez and the Cubbies. See how they do in 2021. They're in the weakest division in baseball, the National League Central. Looks like the Cardinals have got to be the, the uh, favorite to win that division. But who knows? You never know if the Cubs will sneak in there. The Cubs, Brewers could be sneaky teams since they're playing against... Uh, you know, not the greatest teams. Pirates are going to be absolutely awful. Uh, speaking of the Pirates, there they are. They're going to lose over 100 games, I would bet you. Reds, they're going to be a bit down, losing, obviously, Trevor Bauer. But the Reds might be a sneaky team, too. I always wonder about their offense. I always think that they could do better than they do. We'll see if they can finally overachieve a little bit. Uh, there's Aloy Jimenez. Unfortunately, he's out for six months with an injury. It really stinks. And we've got a short print. Out of 2021, a uh, Sean Doolittle, 86 Barry Larkin, and in 2015, Ernie Brett Banks Refractor. Beautiful card right there. Check that one out. That's going to be a fun set together to put together if anybody is up to the task, putting together a Chrome Through the Years set. I was considering doing a uh, just the regular set. It would be fun to do. Could step it up a notch and go after all the Chromes. We saw Fernando Tatis. That was not a real autograph card, in case you were wondering about that. That's a Through the Years replica autograph. So, Cody, thank you very much. You're in the books. We've got three tins left. Tough to hit an autograph in these, as I'm imagining. I didn't really get a chance. It's really hard for me to read the small text, especially on the tins. So I'm not sure what the odds are of finding an auto. Here's the next box. Got to make sure I keep all these tins straight. I got to sleeve up the cards, put them in tin bags, put them back in the tins, make sure the tin lids are with the correct tin and so on and so forth. So Chenille's up right now. So sorry if there's a slight little lag in between tins. Let's see what we can find for you, Chenille. You've got Bryce Harper on yours. I'm trying to see if I can actually read what the autographs are on here. I see Topps 86 autograph is 1 in 360 tins. Um, 187 tins for 70 years of Topps Auto. Hmm. I mean, I could sit down, I guess, for a few minutes and read through it, but that would be boring for the viewer. So let's go ahead and rip into this next one for Chenille and see what we can find for you. We've got two tins left after this one. I think I, I will upload this one first. I've already got Face Off Friday all done and ready to go. It's going to be three Heritage boxes, the last three years of Heritage, all facing off today. 2019 versus 2020 versus 2021, which actually comes out today, but I just learned my cases uh, might not be here today. There's a Alec Baum. So I'll try to get a new release preview video for you. Bobby Dalbeck, one of the top rookie cards. Very nice. We got to get him sleeved up immediately now. There's Jesus Lusardo. That's going to be a nice Independence Day. You know what? I've opened so much tops. I don't know if I've ever pulled an Independence Day card yet. That's how much they've printed of tops this year. That it's really tough to find these. You can see the red stars. Kind of reminds me of like a of Donruss design. I really love the Independence Day designs in the past where they kind of just kind of like blacked out the background and put stars and stripes and made the player image pop with the background going to stars and stripes or Independence Day themed. I hope they go back to that next year. There's Jesus Lusardo once again. Jacob DeGrom, 1973, is going to be the hit of the box in terms of that nice um, 70 years of tops insert card check out the rest of the years barton carlson back to back always back to back 
And let's see what else we've got through the rest of this tin. J.D. Martinez. Um, Fernando Tatis Jr. Sean Manaya. Rolls Chapman and Low Kane, Lorenzo Kane. So, Chanel, thank you very much. Congratulations on the 76 Independence Day Jesus Lusara. That's probably at least a $10 card, I would imagine. Maybe more, maybe 20 Who knows? Depends on uh, how much people are paying for that rare insert. Next up, spot number seven. This one is for Jose. You've got Mike Trout in your spot. Best of luck to you. And last, we'll have a Belly Bombs Cody Bellinger to wrap up this video today. All right, Jose, here we go. Let's see what we can find for you in your spot. Yuli Gurriel starts things off. And... Nothing crazy going on yet. There's the Luis Robert Gold Cup card. He's going to need to step it up a little bit for the White Sox this year. I'm looking for Robert to hit about 270 this year, and I'd like to see him hit 30-plus home runs, maybe steal 20-plus bags. That would do well for his rookie card prices. There's a Christian Pache. Get that one sleeved up. Austin Hayes and a nice 1988 Topps Chrome Refractor of uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's a gorgeous looking card right there. Dylan Carlson as well, 52. And your other 52 is going to be Yadier Molina. You got a Reggie Jackson 69 insert card. Ryan Mountcastle, nice one right there. We'll see what he does for the Orioles this year. Hopefully he doesn't get pitched around too much. There's not too much protection in that lineup for the Orioles. But he had a really good 2020 season. So he'll just go right after him and he'll hit a bunch of homers. There's Aaron Judge. Already saw his tin today. Looking for him to stay healthy in 2021. And Eric Sogard for Jose. All right, Jose, thank you very much. We are now down to our final tin of this video. And it is going to Chris. Thank you very much, Chris. Really appreciate that. We'll see what we can find for you in spot number eight. And it is a Cody Bellinger. Belly Bombs. Let's see what we can find in here. On the front, we've got Nick Senzel. And we'll see what we've got throughout this. Nick Senzel, pretty forgettable of a player nowadays. Used to be so excited about him, but he's really just kind of disappeared from a lot of uh, a lot of our, you know, awareness, at least mine. I have not really seen or heard too much about Senzel in a while. So much so that when I saw that card from opening day, I was like, well, that's uh, probably a Series 2 card. I haven't seen that one yet, but nope, there it is in Series 1. There's Casey Mize. Talked a little bit about him. I'm interested to see what Mize can do with the full season. Never pitched above double A. Of course, he missed uh, the 2020 season because there was – well, he didn't really miss it. He missed the triple A season. Went right to the big leagues last year. Got beat around a little bit. Ryan Mountcastle, no minor leagues last year. Randy Johnson, so a repeat card right there. 2018, already saw that one a couple tins ago. There's Casey Mize once more. Chris Bryant. There's a Mike Trout die cut card, and we will wrap it up. If there was going to be an autograph, it would have been right in the middle. Joey Bart without his buddy, Dylan Carlson. They got split up somehow. And we'll see if there's any other good rookie cards before we wrap this video up on a very busy Friday for me. Last card of the video is going to be Oscar Mercado to finish things up for Chris. So, Chris, thank you very much. So, that will do it for the tins. That is your sneak peek. Again, I've got lots of tins. I, when I put this live on Patreon for people to sign up for it, I had 50 comments within the first two minutes of people trying to get a tin. If you didn't get a tin, I've got a lot more coming. I just have to wait for them to show up, and then we'll do a live stream of those. So, everybody that wanted a tin, you will get one, and you'll be able to choose your player, at least if you, you know, sign up early before everyone picks Trout and he's all off the board and so on and so forth. So that'll do it for the first video of many today. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Also, please like the video. It helps the videos out. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so whenever we post a new video or go live, you get notified. Also, make sure you check out FanDuel down in the description. Sign up there. Put a couple bucks in your account. Challenge me to a game. My screen name on there is Jabs Family, all one word. Uh, and that will do it. So I will see you in the next video. And have a great rest of your Friday. Good night, everybody.